Hey, it's George Pierce here. We are assignment two for 3D shapes. We're going to be talking about deconstructing three-dimensional shapes into two-dimensional shapes to find surface area. Stay with us. Let's math it up. said us uh, stay with us like there's more than one of me it's just me like usual in my basement doing math all right so as you can see our assignment in front of us here we have a good number of questions five questions each with four parts to them and the first area we're starting with one a and it is i'm gonna get my side cam going on here one a and if we look at our shape, it, it is a cube. And it says deconstruct the cube into its two-dimensional components, including measurements, and find the total surface area. Now, it gives us some parameters, an example right here. So our cube is 3 by 3. Our cube's a 3 by 3 cube. That means every face is going to be 3 by 3. 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, 3, 3. Every measure is 3 because it's a cube. So we're going to put that onto our space here. So this is 3. Hmm, let's move that pencil down. This is 3 uh, yards. This is 3 yards. And this would make the area of this shape length times width total for nine yards squared. So how many sides do we have on this shape? We have one, two, three, four, five, and one on the back for six. Six sides total. So we're gonna multiply this by six. So we're going nine yards times six is going to equal 54. 54 yards squared. That's going to be our answer for this two-dimensional surface area of this 3D shape. So we'll go off to the next question here. So it's asking us the same thing. Let's draw the shape. So it is a cube. So it's only going to have squares on it. And each one of those squares is going to be five by five, five inches by five inches, and we're gonna to need to find the total area, length times width for this shape. It is going to be 25 inches squared is gonna be our surface area. We're going to want to multiply 25 times the number of faces on this cube, which is, there's six, there's six sides to this cube, six faces, 25 times six, it's going to be equal to 150 inches squared. And that's going to be our answer for the surface area of this cube. We've gone to 1C. It only has squares. And the squares are 6 by 6 centimeters by 6 centimeters. Let's do that M a little better six centimeters and that will equal a total of 36 centimeters squared as our surface area for that shape and we're going to want to take that and multiply it by the number of sides so 36 times 6 is going to be equal to uh all right let's see 180 plus 36 100 and 16, sorry, 216, 180 plus 36, 216, 216 centimeters squared. And that will be our answer. I'm gonna square my answer, move on to 1D. Now, 1D, once again, this whole, all these first questions are all cubes. So they'll all have the same 
sequence of steps. So we're going to go the shapes found in this cube are all going to be squares. I'm going to draw a better square just because I can. And we're going to go nine feet by nine feet and include my measurements. Nine feet by nine feet. So that's going to be 81 feet squared will be our total area for one face. And then of course we want to times that 81 times six to find the area of all six faces of this cube together. So eight times six is going to be 40. Two, no, 48. 480, 486, equals 486, 4 times 8, it's 48, sorry, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 1 is 6, 480 plus 6, 486, feet squared, Pretty confident for 86. Let's look at 1D. My answer, 1486. There it is. Okay. Got it. All right. Off to the next one. <clears throat> so this is deconstruct the square prism. So now it says deconstruct the square prism to find the total surface area. Now the total surface area of this square prism is going to be... Uh, let's go circle cam here. So it's going to be uh, two shapes now. So two two-dimensional shapes are going to make up this three-dimensional shapes. And this first one, I've included what those shapes are. It's a square and a rectangle. So in this first shape, the square here on top and, of course, the bottom. This is why it's called a... Uh, uh, square prism is because it's a square that's been elongated, right? It's this, this unit of measurement that's been stretched down to this unit of measurement here, to this bottom square. And the top square is going to be 9 by 9 uh, centimeters. CM, running out of space there. So this is going to have 81 centimeters squared. And the bottom is going to be six centimeters by nine centimeters. And that is going to be uh, six times nine is 56, fi no, 54. 54 centimeters, zoom in a little bit, squared. So there's, let's see here, how many top pieces? How many of the squares? We have one on the top and one on the bottom. It's going to be times two. And the next shape, we have one, two, three, four. Four sides. And so this is going to be times, whoa, what happened there? Times four. So 81 times two is going to be 162. 162. 2 centimeters squared and then 50 what is that that's a weird one I'm going to redo that 50, 54 54 centimeters squared 54 centimeters squared is times 4 is going to be 200 and 16, 216 centimeters squared. And then we're going to add those two up because we have those just, that's all the faces, two, a top and a bottom, and then the four sides. So those are the two values we need to add together. We're going to add these two together. And that's going to give us a total of uh, 300. 78 378 centimeters 
squared. B. All right, so this is going to be, again, two different shapes. This is still a square prism. So we're going to have a square component, and we're going to have a rectangular component. So the square component is going to be four kilometers is the measurement by four kilometers. And the rectangular component is going to be four kilometers kilometers by seven kilometers. So this is going to be an area of 16 km squared. And this is going to be 28 km squared. Now, we want to make sure that we multiply this by 2 and this by 4. So 28. Why don't we slide those over a bit? 16 times 2 and 28 times 4. So that's going to equal 32 kilometers squared. And this one's going to equal 80 and 32, 108, 102, 28. No, that's not right. 112. Twenty times four is eighty, and eight times four, thirty-two, hundred and twelve, one hundred and twelve kilometers squared. Now again, we're going to add these two together. Add these two numbers together, because so that's the total number of sides and their shape is one hundred and forty-four, one hundred and forty-four kilometers squared kilometers squared to C. Now, 2C is, again, it's going to be a square and a rectangle. And the square is 3 by 3. And the rectangle is 3 by 12. Okay. Inches inches, inches. Now, this is going to be nine inches squared. And three times 12 is going to be 36 inches squared. Thirty six inches squared. Now we're going to have uh, nine times two, and we're going to have that will equal 18. And we're going to have 36 times four, because there's four sides of those. And that's going to equal 120 plus 24, 144, 144 inches squared inches squared. We're going to add those two together. 154, 162. 162 inches squared. It's our total surface area. 2C. Yeah, all right. It's always nice to just check my work as I go. Last one for this section is going to be to draw my, ooh, that's a big, comparatively, six by six square on the top, and then a long and thin square on the side, so it's six by six feet, feet, and this is two feet by six feet, so we have 36 feet squared as our space, and we have 12 feet squared as our side. 
So it's going to be 36 times 2, because there's a top and a bottom, and then 12 times 4. Those are our two shapes, two numbers. It's four sides and two tops. And two squares and four rectangles. What are those shapes going to be? 36 times 2. That's going to be 72 feet squared. 12 times 4 is going to be 48 feet squared. We're going to add those two numbers together to get 120. One hundred and twenty feet squared as our total surface area for that shape. All right, moving on to the next section. So now this is going to be a rectangular prism. So now there's going to be three sides, three different shaped rectangles. So in this one we have a larger top, a skinnier side, and then a foot down here at the bottom. So a face, front and a back, a top and a bottom, and a left and a right. Right? They're here and here, top and then the bottom and then a front and a back. Again, it depends how you're looking at it to really say top, back, front, back, top, bottom. Well, top, bottom, I feel, usually is pretty obvious, but front, back, left, right is debatable sometimes. Now, it looks like the biggest one is six by 10. So it's gonna be six by 10, which is gonna be 60 inches squared inches inches and there's two of those and then the smallest one is four by six four inches by six inches and that's going to be 24 inches squared and there's two of those and then the longer side one is four by ten four inches by 10 inches and that's going to be 40 and there's two of those so this is going to be 120 inches total squared that's going to be 48 inches squared and that's going to be 80 inches squared and when you add those three numbers up together they will equal 248, 248 inches squared as our answer. All right, let's move on to that next shape. So again, we have one shape here, 12, 12 by two. We have a bottom, in this case, it looks like we're on the back side or on the bottom side, and that is eight by eight by 12. Oh my goodness. The shape just keeps flipping from front to back on me. Eight by 12. And then we have a bottom side, the top side, eight by 12. Whoa. So we have a here, we have a here, and we have a here. That's a trippy shape. Oh, it's jumping up like forwards and backwards. And anyway, the, the measures are there. The process is the same. Let's draw our three shapes. We have long and thin. We have 12 centimeters by two centimeters. I'm gonna just make that whole thing a little bigger because I have some space. Two cm, 12 cm, 24 
centimeters squared. Then we have eight by 12. We have um, a bit larger. I'm trying to keep my drawing somewhat accurate. So eight centimeters by 12 centimeters. And eight times 12 is gonna be 96. 80 plus 16, yeah, 96. Six centimeters squared. And then we have a bottom piece that's eight by eight by two. And this one's gonna be thin and a bit shorter. Um, two centimeters by eight centimeters, and that's gonna be 16 centimeters squared. Of course, each of these is gonna be times two, times two, times two, uh, four, which will equal 48 centimeters squared and 100, one, eight, 192, 92 centimeters squared and 32 centimeters squared. And we're gonna add those three numbers up together and that will equal a grand total of 100 and 240, 272, 272 centimeters squared. Three, C. All right. Three C. So we have our shapes, and we're gonna create those shapes and then measure them out, deconstructing this. So let's do the top first. Top's the biggest. It's nine by twelve. So let's go nine. By 12, approximately 9 feet by 12 feet, which will equal 90 plus 18, 108, 108 feet squared as the area. And then we have 8 feet by, well, let's go 12 feet by 8 feet similar size 12 feet by 8 feet and that's going to be 80 plus 16 will be 96 feet squared and then the last shape will be 8 by 9 and let's go no. nine feet and eight feet. And that's going to be 72 feet squared. And of course, all of these shapes are going to be multiplied by two because there's two of each of them on the surface of that block, on the surface of that rectangular prism. So that will equal 216 feet squared, squared in that case, this one will be 192 feet squared, and this one will be 144, 100 44 feet squared. My squares, my exponent twos are funny. Let's add those together. So 300, 400, 500, 540, 546, 548, 548. 552. Total is 552 
feet squared. I'm going to check my answer on my addition there. That's 3C 552. Pretty good. Okay, next one. So we have 6 by 3, 2 by 2 by 3, and 6 by 2. All right. So we have two that are similar. And then one that's shorter, two by three. So we have three by six inches. Three inches by six inches will make that 18 inches squared. Then we have six inches by two inches, which will make that 12 inches inches squared and then we have three inches by two inches which makes that <laughs> some birds in my music here makes that six inches squared <laughs> a weird song all right there's two of each of these shapes times two whoops not exponent two times two times two, times two, and that is uh, 36, 36 inches squared, and that is 24 inches squared, and that is 12 inches squared and when you add all those up together we're going to be equal to 50 60 72 72 inches squared All right, next one is deconstruct the triangular prism. So we have two triangles, that is four, so, so if we look at this, four centimeters by three centimeters by five centimeters, 11 centimeters. To get the area of this triangle, we actually don't need this area here. We just need the height and the base. Four centimeters by three centimeters by five centimeters, centimeters. And then the first biggest triangle is going to be five centimeters by 11 centimeters and then we have uh, four <coughs> oh bless me thank you by 11 centimeters and three centimeters centimeters by 11 centimeters now, area, three times four divided by two is going to be six centimeters squared. This is going to be 55 centimeters squared of our volume, sorry, our shape, a space, a area, 44 centimeters squared and 33 centimeters squared of wonderful 11 in our length of the shape, or you'd call it height. So there's two triangles, a front and a back, one of each of these other shapes. So it's gonna be 12 centimeters squared plus 55 centimeters squared plus 44 centimeters squared plus 33 centimeters squared 
And when we add all these numbers together, we'll get our total surface area of, it's at 760, 100, 130, 137, 140, 147, 147 centimeters squared. It seems a little unround to me, 147.4a. Oh, I messed up my addition. 144, yeah, that sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 144, I added right here. These ones, I added this wrong. Well, these last ones. 144 centimeters squared. Okay. That is a long process. Step by step, we'll get there. Let's check out this new one. Three by th three, four, five. Literally the same triangle. All right. Okay. We'll repeat it. So we have a right triangle, and that is four, three, five miles. And that's gonna have an area of six miles squared. Uh, stop that. Then we have our first rectangle. Oh, it's different height. That's what's different about this one. <laughs> then we have our first triangle that is much shorter, smaller than that other one. So it's going to be three. No, oh, I'm going to go. We're going to have three triangles in this shape. They're all going to be very close, but slightly different. So we'll have a five by three, five miles by three miles, which will be 15 miles squared. We'll have a four miles by three miles, four miles by... four miles by three miles, which will have 12 miles squared. And then we'll have a three by three, three miles by three miles, which will have a nine miles squared area. There are two of these and then one of each of these other shapes. Sorry, excuse my nose here. So this will be 12 miles squared plus 15 miles squared plus 12 miles squared plus nine miles squared, which is gonna be 24, 34, 39, 48, 48 miles squared. On to the next one, 4C. Now we have a slightly different triangle. And it's going to have a base of 12 and a height, height of 7.7 7 1. And I'm going to do that on my calculator. 12 times 7.1 
85.2 divided by 2 equals 42.6. So the area, 42.6, and that's going to be two of those. 42.6 yards squared times 2. Now we have uh, 2 other shapes here, 1, 2, 3, we have a 12 by 12, we have a 12 by 8, and a 12 by 11. My shapes are not terribly accurate. 144 yards squared. 196. 96 yards squared. And 121. 132, 132 yard, no, yeah, 120, 10 times 12 is 120, 132, yeah, okay. 132 yards squared. All right. Times one, times one, times one. And then that one is times two. So it's going to be 45.2. 45.2. And then that's going to be equal to 144 yards squared, yards squared, equal to 96 yards squared, and equal to 132 yards squared. We add those up. 100. 200, 240, 280, 370, 400, 405, 409, 415, 417.2, 417, 417.2, 417 I wonder if I'm right there. 470, 417.2 yards squared. 4C, 457.2. Oh my gosh, where did my math go wrong? That mental math. Oops, this one. 450. Okay, so let's go back through this then. 100, 200. 240, 280, 370, 400, 405, 409, 415, 417. I wonder if something in here is incorrect. Oh, that's what's incorrect. This is incorrect. Do, 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 do. All right. That is 82, 83.2. 83.2. Because there's two of them, and I didn't multiply that properly. 
end, that would bring us up to, yeah. The right answer of 457.2 yards squared. Right, 457, 4C. Yeah. Okay, next one. So we have 10, 8, 12, 7. 10, 8, 12, 7. All right, so we have a triangle. And the base is 10. And then the height is 5.6 miles. Then we have three rectangles, all with a height of 12, or length of 12, and then 8, 10, 7. So 12 by 10. Twelve by eight and twelve by seven. Twelve miles, ten miles, twelve miles, eight miles, and twelve miles. Seven, seven miles. Five point six, five hundred and sixty, fifty point, fifty point six divided by two, twenty five point three area equals twenty five point three. Miles squared, right? Length, area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And then we have length times width, so that's 120 miles squared. And then we have 96 miles squared. And then we have 70, 84 miles squared times two times one times one times one all right so 56 50.6 equals 50.6 and that will equal 120 miles squared, miles squared. And that will equal 96 miles squared. And this will equal 84 miles squared. One, 170. 266 340 350.6 miles squared Oh Fifty point six four D three fifty six miles. What? What? Uh, 
I missed something in my code. 7 times 12, 70, that's 14. 8 times 12, 10 times 12. What am I missing? 350, what are my answers wrong? 5.6, 7, 8, 12, 10, 7, 8. Three fifty six. How would that? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to come back to that. I think I'm right. Three fifty point six. I feel like that answer might be a typo. Three fifty six four D. Okay. 5A, so we have a circle with a diameter of 12, a square with a, a rectangle with a measurement of 11, and we don't know the other run yet because we need to find the circumference. So we're going to find the circumference the circumference of this circle is going to be equal to the length of that length there. Um, the diam yeah, circum circumference will be equal to the that length there, I guess. Or it could be this one, depending on the relationship of this and, and that, how large they are. Uh, I'm thinking it'll be slight. Yeah, it'll be this. The long length would be the diameter. So the short length would be not diameter. It'd be the circumference. This is going to be 11 kilometers km. And that's 12 km. Now to find the circumference, to find this length here, we're going to have to do diameter times pi. So that's going to be 12 times 3.14, 37.68, 37 37.68, and then times that by 11 kilometers km, 37.68 times 11 is equal to 414.48. 4, 1, 4, 4, 8 km squared. Now the area of this circle is going to be pi r squared, 12, 6, uh, 6 squared times pi. 113.04 and there's two of these and one of those so it's going to be 414.48 kilometers squared plus 226, 226.08, which is going to be 630, 640, 640, point five six kilometers squared is our answer. 640.565A. What? 64. Oh, no, I did say 640. 640.9. Some rounding. They, I'm assuming, used 
the actual calculations of pi rather than my point one three three point one four they use the pi button when they calculate it. so um, again point five six and point uh, nine close enough that's less than point three four off and so what happens when you have to use pi so much in a calculation you're gonna be ever so slightly off let's do the next one so we're gonna have a circle let's do that a bit bigger because we have lots of space we have a circle with a diameter of six yards and we have a rectangle that's going to have a measurement of eight yards one of these two of those now what is our measurement here so we want the diameter is going to be 12 yards Twelve yards. It'll be the diameter if the radius is six. So diameter times pi. Let's use the pi button this time. So twelve times. Where's the pi button? Pi. Yeah. Twelve times pi. Thirty-seven point six nine nine. Thirty-seven point seven. Thirty-seven point seven. Oh, times eight. Let's say thirty-seven point seven times eight is equal to three hundred one point six. Three hundred one point six yards squared. which is equal to 301.6 yards squared. Now, area of the circle, 6 squared times pi equals 113.09, so let's say 113.1. One one three point one yards squared times two is one hundred two hundred twenty six point two. Let me add those two together. We're going to get about five hundred twenty seven point eight yards squared and we should be closer this time because we use the pi button which will be slightly more accurate um, 5b 527.8 yeah 527.8 on the button okay let's see 5C. It's a long one today. 5C is going to be a large circle and a long but short rectangle. 4 and then our diameter is 12 yards. yards so our uh, length of that one will be 12 times pi diameter times pi is 37.69 37.7 times 4 150.79 150.8 Five zero point eight 
yards squared. And there's one of those shapes and there'll be two of those. So this is gonna be six times pi r squared, six times itself, and then times pi is equal to Hold on. Six squared times pi equals. <laughs> six squared is 36 multiplied by pi equals 113.97, 113.97. One one three point one. So we're gonna have two hundred and twenty six point two and one hundred and fifty point eight yards squared. And add those two together to get three. 76, 377 yards squared as our answer. 5C, 377. All right. Last question here. 5D. Is... a two shape one will be five inches and one will be that has a diameter of eight inches times that by one times this by two Now, what's the area of that circle? It's going to be 8 squared times pi 201.06 201.06 inches squared and the length, the diameter of that circle is going to be 16 times pi, 50.26, 50.26 times 5, 50.26 times 5 is 251.3, 251.3 251 inches squared, squared. And when we do our math, this is going to be 251.3 inches squared. And we're going to add to it 402.12 inches squared for a total of 650.5 three two inches squared as an answer five C six fifty three point three two four yeah that my addition this should be four three and point one four two and it says 0.5, they rounded up at some point in this, which is totally fine. Yeah, they rounded this up to one here. Okay. Ooh, it's a long one today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope this helped, and I hope you keep mathing it up. Later.